Hey guys, Seleno here from PlayToEarn.net. Today's video is the third episode of our series, 5 Games If You Like, where I talk about blockchain games you can play if you like a certain traditional game. For this episode, we'll be looking at PlayToEarn games you can look at if you are a fan of League of Legends, the MOBA game by Riot Games. So without further ado, let's get started with the list. The first game on our list is Zuki MOBA. Zuki MOBA is a MOBA esport player to earn game on the Binance Smart Chain. In Zuki MOBA, players use their in game characters in a snowball shooting game to compete with other players and have a chance to earn awards. It is based on the traditional Japanese snowball game called Yuki Gasin. The game has three modes. The first one is practice mode, where players can familiarize themselves with the game. Second is melee combat mode, which is sort of like a deathmatch where you rake up as many kills as possible. And last is conflict mode, which is the most similar to League of Legends. Players form a group of 5 people each and 3 groups fight it out in a match. A hero NFT is required to play the game. All players are given one free hero to use, but this isn't an NFT and cannot be traded. The heroes used in game have 4 skills each. 2 normal skills, 1 ultimate skill, and 1 passive skill. The normal skills each use 1 energy point to use, while the ultimate skill can use anywhere between 1 to 3 energy to make it stronger. A few heroes in the game are Ganda, Sakiko, and Rumi. The game also features other NFT items like skins, gears, weapons, avatars, and skills. These NFTs can be earned by playing the game and can be freely tradable on the marketplace. Zuki Token is the main in-game currency and can be earned by playing the game, while Zuki Gem is the governance token and used for buying NFTs, staking, and evolving heroes. The game is live now, so if you want to try it out, you can check their website. The next game on our list is Battle for Geostone. Battle for Geostone is a play under mobile game being built on Avalanche. In this game, players team up with 4 other people to defend their base from the opposing team and destroy the other team's base at the same time. The game features different characters called heroes. Heroes have 3 basic stats that decide their performance. These are strength, agility, and intelligence. There are also 6 hero classes with differing stats. These are melee enraged warrior, melee enraged assassin, and melee enraged wizard. Heroes also have a set of spells they can use while playing the game. Each spell has a separate class which can be one of 6 hero classes, a spell position, either first, second, passive, or ultimate, and a type, either common, rare, or legendary. For example, the spell named Downburst has a melee warrior class, a passive position, and a rare spell type. Each spell class has 3 spell types for its position, and for each class there are 12 variants, making the total number of spells in game to be 72. The only rule is each hero cannot have spells in the same position. Since the game is very similar to League of Legends, you already have an idea how the game plays. Your team of 5 heroes tries to destroy the other team's base before they can do the same. This map shows the flow of the game, similar to the maps of League of Legends or Dota 2. The game is slated for an alpha launch in Q4 of 2022, while a release for Android, iOS, and Ubuntu is expected in Q1 of 2023. You can check out their website and white paper for more details. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from so you can actually find what you're looking for. Now let's get back to the video. The next game on our list is Eden Brawl. Eden Brawl combines the action combat of a brawler with the depth of a MOBA to create its own genre called Mo Brawler. The game puts its own unique spin on the MOBA formula, using WASD as movement keys instead of the typical point and click. This, combined with the various abilities in the game, allows players a lot of outplay potential against opponents. The main game mode in Eden Brawl is called Eden Ball. Players form a team and work together to carry and capture the ball in the enemy team's end zone, either by precise planning or brute force. The first team to reach 25 points in a match by repeatedly getting goals is determined the winner. There are different roles for characters in the game such as Vanguard, Assault, and Support, each with their own strengths and weaknesses to help the team succeed. But all heroes have 4 basic stats. Power, Defense, Move Speed, and Cooldown Reduction. Each character in the game also has different skills they can use. They have 2 regular skills and an ultimate skill that can change the tide of the game. For example, Ink's ultimate fires a glowing set of blades that deals damage to everything it touches, and it is a global skill. Other champions in the game are Jet, the Hip Hop Hitman, Presto, the Master of Pretend, and Sunny, the Fabled Fisherman. During the match, players can also earn gold which they can use to buy items to help them. These items can improve their basic stats like I mentioned earlier. This is similar to other MOBAs like League of Legends. The game is still currently in development. This game is still currently in development. You can check out their website and socials for more details. Up next, we have Carnage Carnival. Carnage Carnival is a play and earn MOBA NFT game being built on the Binance Smart Chain. 
In Carnage Carnival, players can compete in different game modes to earn their right to become ringmaster and earn rewards. The game is a MOBA, so if you played games like League of Legends or Dota 2, you could already be familiar with this gameplay. The game will also be free to play when it launches. All players will be given two non-NFT heroes, two non-NFT weapons, and two non-NFT masks when they start. Each hero can equip a mask and a weapon to compete in the game. Since these items are non-NFTs, they earn less coin and cannot be traded on the marketplace. Heroes in the game are grouped into three classes according to their skills and stats, which are HP, Defense, Attack, and Speed. The three classes are Brute, Operator, and Agents. Brutes have higher HP and low damage, Agents have high damage but low defense, while Operators are the more balanced class. The equipment the hero has, like the mask and weapons, also affects their gameplay. Certain bonuses are also given when a set is equipped. NFTs also come in three rarities which affect their earnings. These are common, rare, and epic. The two tokens in the game are Ticks and CAC. Ticks can be earned while playing the game and even by free-to-play users, while CAC is only earnable when playing with at least one hero NFT. There are plans for a scholarship system in the future for people who want to play with NFTs. According to their roadmap, an open beta is planned in Q4 of 2022, while game release is expected next year. And the last game on our list is Thetan Arena. Thetan Arena is an esport game based on blockchain technology and is built on the Binance Smart Chain. In Thetan Arena, you can gather your friends, form a team, and fight with others for a chance to earn rewards. Thetan Arena's gameplay is designed to maximize both your skills and teamwork. The game features various game modes. The first is Battle Royale. In Battle Royale, players can go solo or with a friend to be the last one standing. A match can have up to 42 players or 21 duos. There's also a deathmatch mode where teams rack up kills, and a superstar mode which is kinda like their version of Capture the Flag. And the last mode is Sour Destroy mode. This plays like traditional MOBAs like League of Legends, which is why it made it to this list. By playing the game, you can earn Thetan coin which is the main currency. It can be used to trade on exchanges or buy Thetan boxes in-game. On the other hand, Thetan gem is the governance token of the game used for staking and governance and can be earned in tournaments, special events, and marketplace sales. Players can also earn NFT items while playing which they can sell on the marketplace for money. The game is live now if you want to check it out. You can play on Android, iOS, or PC. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. If you are looking for a blockchain equivalent of mobile games like League of Legends, I hope this list helped you out. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video!